quite often in your life, whether it is a research project, your homework, or some everyday situation, you are going to use some logic and some logical processes. And in this video, I would like to introduce you two that are quite significant. It is induction and deduction. So let's draw uh, two small models on which I would like to uh, highlight the brief differences between these two. So imagine some life situation. At first, you are observing something. So you do some observation observation maybe you find out that among the teachers in your school there are more men and women and we have already done something more than observation we have described it so there can be some description description well and from this description and observation we can try to figure out something so we will do some analysis so we will do some analysis Maybe we will find out from the school records that uh, uh, men are more favored because there is a gym just next to the school, so they like this job much more. And from this analysis, we have already told ourselves that there is some explanation to it. So there is some explanation. Explanation. And maybe this explanation is not really as a true fact because it may not be true maybe there is some other reason so sometimes we used to call our explanations or beliefs as hypothesis so hypothesis so it is something that is not proven that maybe just we think and no one else can prove it and then maybe we go back to our school and observe some another data right now we have described induction so in induction, you begin with some observation. So it is your point one. From this, what you have observed, you try to bring and try to draw some analysis of the data you have found out. And from this analysis, you have some conclusions and some explanations about the observed facts. So point one, two, and three. Well, if you have deduction, you are going to go a slightly opposite way. At first, you are going to have some hypotheses. So let's say, you, you, in general, have read an article in the newspaper that there are more men among the teachers uh, in the schools than women. So, from, with this hypothesis, you go to some local school and try to observe whether it is really true. So, as a second, you do observation. And then finally, when you have collected the data, you are going to do the analysis and analyze whether your hypothesis is true or false. So, is it true? Or false or false personally uh, this this model is a little bit tricky to remember the differences so I also try to uh, remember a different way so if you draw let's say one line and I will draw it differently so we have got one line second one and let's say that here is some concrete situation so here is something concrete concrete in our study case that I have brought there can be our school so this is our school and then on the other side of these two lines or pipe or however you call it is wall universe or everything so something general so there is something general we can call it or statisticians call it sometimes the wall universe universe or we can also call it population population and now if you imagine our two processes we can go two ways we can go from concrete things that we have found out in our school and let's let's try to bring some general conclusions and some general theories about what we have observed or we can go other way we have read article in the newspaper that in the whole world there are more men among teachers than women so we will try to bring this general theory into the concrete situation of our school so let's draw it we have got a concrete situation so we observe something and we try to bring some general conclusions about it so this way from concrete to general things it would be induction induction whether if we go the other way around from some general statement to a concrete situation and we try to apply it or we try to observe whether it is really true or it is false we do the deduction so here is deduction so prior to our observations and prior to our analysis 
there is some logical reasoning which can be considered the article we have read. So this is the basic difference between induction and deduction.